Hey guys, it's Button. First of all, I know I look ratchet AF, but... <laughs> I look ratchet. This is just what I'm gonna look like. And today we're reading Chapter 2 of High School of the Dead. Not the anime. It's the troll fic by Emoto Onagai69. <sighs> yeah, so a lot of people like Watoshi's first chapter. Watoshi is home to me, happy left. I got to do that positive support. Watoshi will continue writing most of my fanfic. I already feel sick. And the base for the chapter is by Takani the Hedgehog. Takani the Hedgehog. So thank you, Takani, for the base. She didn't use it correctly, but actually, funny story. I uh, troll. I used a uh, troll base, and I got a uh, filed under the sky's one folder of rule breakers. And I'm like, well, I did my job well. I'm sorry for breaking the rules on your base. Can be, it can't be real. Everyone was asking each other that uh, as there is a suspicious look on everyone's faces. I knew that I could die at any moment. Oh, no, you won't. You're the main character. And I might not even be able to trust anyone except my Onisima. Okay, out of all the people you could trust, all of the people in the entire class, you're trusting Byakua Togami. Think about this for a second. <laughs> Somebody might just kill me in order to get out of here. I couldn't stand the thought. I want to go out. I want a career in dancing and be super famous. Why did this have to happen? There's just a period. There isn't even a question mark. Why does this have to happen? I don't know. Why did you have to write this? <laughs> it's not a matter of whether it's real. It's whether anyone can trust what the bear just said. My Onisama said, and I knew he was right. I know from the blue hair idiot's face that she thinks she has to kill someone. Behind her pretentious smile, I knew was a demon. I stared at her, though she never noticed. Something's fishy. I'm going to investigate on my own, Onisama said, and I was about to walk away when Awada couldn't run up to him. Hey, wait a minute, you can't just go off on your own, Corn Dog Man said. <laughs> me. <laughs> I, 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 I've been saying that to, like, nothing that relates to me, but just, like... Corn dog man. <laughs> Move away, asshole. I didn't want them to fight anymore. And I ran over to Onisama and pulled to sleep. Onisama, let's just go. When I said that, I heard Owada couldn't growl angrily as he looked at me and back at Onisama in jealousy. He looked like he was about to erupt into flames. Just then, Nayagi came over and Owada couldn't punch him. There is no lie. Sakura carried Nayagi into his room and I followed him in the rest of the cafeteria where I snapped sat next to Onisama, even though every guy invited me to sit next to them. I thought I couldn't trust anyone for now. The ugly girl from Aurora, Toko, or whatever her name was. Totoko! That's a uh, running joke my friend and I have. Well, I have a lot of running jokes with my friend Stormy, so... Or Midna. She, she changes her name sometimes. I'm standing next to our personal table. It's not your personal table. Togami just refuses to sit with anybody. Such plebeian should just get lost. I can stand the sight of her. She clearly doesn't know her place. I can't stand the sight of you. You clearly don't know your place. You ran away. A few hours later, Nagi woke up and he walked in with my Zono. I'm surprised she can smile, smile so normally. Okay, let's discuss a way out, Ishimaru said with his usual loud voice. The entrance is made of steel and there were shutters blocking the stairs leading to the second level. I think we're stuck on the first floor for hour. Also, there are a lot more food in the fridge, and Monokuma said to be real filled every day. So don't worry, I chimed, contributing to the session. No, you just gave all of the information that everyone is supposed to say. And my Kirigiri is supposed to say, um, I believe it was Kirigiri who said, no, Kirigiri brought in the, um, map and said this is an exact replica of the school, or we actually are in the school. God, I look so but you just literally said everything that everyone else said. <laughs> Why are you guys still alive? This is boring as hell! Monokuma suddenly bounced up on the table and everyone stood up in surprise. 
I believe that that's actually a quote from a Daggerampa Abridged thing. Funniest Abridged series ever. I guess I'm going to have to give a little incentive for you, Vaster, to do something. Boop, boop, boop. Like, okay, before I move on, I would like to say that I love Monokuma's English voice, and I actually hate his sub voice. Yeah, so I'm like the outlier in this graph. <laughs> I do like, um, Falero's uh, interpretation of the sub voice, though. But I hate with all of my being the sub voice, and I love the dub voice. Uh, just what do you want? Leave us all alone! I screamed at him as Onisan had to hold me back from punching the stupid monochrome bear. It was against the rule to hit the headmaster, after all. Of course I was smart enough and withheld myself. It seemed like Monokuma had given us all DVDs to watch when we made our way to the computer room to watch what he had in store for us. As soon as I put my DVD in, though, I saw my Tomodachi. Always in middle school, I was super popular. Everyone wanted to be with me and date me and be my friend. I never talked to them, though. I had a very close relationships with a few friends, and I hated how popular I was. But they supported me. Oh, well, it's frickin' you! I liked hanging out with them, although they were the most likely envious of me. The most, like... <laughs> the Google said that in class today. They were friendly and polite enough. I saw their faces on the screen with Monokuma speaking in the background. Oop, oop. I wonder what your friends are doing now. And then the screen went black. And then you're pretentious. <laughs> I widened my eyes in horror as I saw them laying on their phone, their own happy faces now dead. Wh what happened to them? Oh, kind of like my Zono's DVD, hmm? I stood up abruptly, not even noticing how my Zono had ran out of the room and Aggie chasing after them. No, 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 no. It, it can't be! Yes, it can be! <laughs> I was devastated. They were my friends! Without them, I had nobody. Who was going to encourage me to continue dancing? I don't know, yourself? Who was going to treat me to Happy Meals and laugh? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Sorry, that line was a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Laugh at my jokes, yourself. <laughs> Who was I going to give makeup advice to? Yourself. Nobody! Nobody! It's impossible! My dearest friend! Kurumi? I mispronounced her name. I thought it was Kurumi, but it's Kurumi. Uh, screw it, I'm going to have to creamy. Creamy? I heard someone call out to me, and I realized it was my Onisama. Before I could walk over to cover me, I felt a pair of really strong arms wrap around my slender figure. Even though your boobs are like size D's. Pulling me to his chest as he placed a hand on my head gently. At first I thought it was some random guy, since I'm used to getting molested and hit on a lot in middle- Oh my god! <laughs> hit on a lot in middle school, and I was about to push the pervert away when I realized who it was. I won't let anyone hurt you, Mondokun said. m mondokun I looked up at him, the man with the brown pompadour, as he glared death at the screen with Monokuma's face. <laughs> Glaring death! <laughs> I want that power. Surprise skill level death glare. <laughs> Luigi. <laughs> I'm not funny. <laughs> He looked like he was about ready to punch the man in the face, but it wouldn't work seeing how he nearly got blown up in the gym earlier before. His protective arms tightened around my slim body. I heard him muttering. I, Mondo Iwata, swear nothing will happen, so calm down, Karimi Chan. And then I felt safe. I felt like I had someone I can trust, someone who can support me. Mondo Kun will protect me, so I can trust him. He's gone bad, chapter two! <laughs> I let out a grin, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> and hugged him back, finally feeling safe. He's not a pervert. He's Vondokun. So yeah, that was the second chapter. What does Minasama think? I see Kirimi Mandosama. <laughs> and so that was chapter two of High School of the Dead. 
leaving the link in the description below, and, um, <laughs> feel like an album cover. And, um, you all can check it out, and, uh, Emoto Onegai, or at least the girl behind her, actually, uh, gave a shout-out to both me and Marge, who's doing a reading of this, too. Um, so, yeah, and Marge, I swear to God I will read the next chapter. I've lots of stuff to do. Bye, guys!